they come in like a variety of styles. <laughs> you have the person that's like, Ey! why did you just sing? Yell that, please. Hey guys, my name is Shayla and I make these videos every Wednesday. This Wednesday, I wanna start with what I love starting with your videos. Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Washington State. Shayla tries to release these videos every hump day. So if you're interested in yoga or travel tips and tricks, or you know, maybe your sister's breast milk. That happened, I'm serious. Hit up Living on One Way on any number of social platforms because she's on like all of them, more than most sane people should be on. Hey guys, this is Living on a One Way. This Wednesday, I'm in the van in California like I will be for the rest. <laughs> Bless me. I'm trying to think of if I should stick with what I planned on talking. Last time I was with, I was home in Minnesota, Seth sneezed and I was like, oh, bless you. Like any normal person, any thoughtful person would do. And he goes, oh, you do say it. What? I always say it. He's like, oh, I sneezed twice yesterday and you never said bless you. And I was like, what? It's okay, Sheila. I know sometimes you're in your own world and you just don't recognize what's going on around you. To which I should have been offended, but I was like, but then I started thinking, sneezes are so weird. They come in like a variety of styles. <laughs> you have the person that's like, Itch! why did you just sing, yell that sneeze? The sneeze that kind of sounds like a cough. <clears throat> Bless you. There's the multi-sneezer. Hachu, 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 hachu. Do you say bless you after the first one? Do you say bless you after the last one? Do you say bless you after each of them? I don't know what to do there. I think one or all, I think they're, whatever you want is fine. There's a window of time too. So if you don't say bless you after the first one, there's like a time frame that goes by. And if you say it after that, it's kind of weird. Like, hachu. Bless you. It's like, what? Or <laughs> like the mouse sneezes. And I'm kind of guilty of this sometimes. Sometimes you're like, People are like, why are you stifling that sneeze? Let it out. In general, you should sneeze into your arm or see don't sneeze into your hands. That's right. I feel like that's gross. Unless you have hand sanitizer on deck, unless you're outside. I feel like it's the greatest feeling ever to just, <laughs> I only one here. I mean, there are no people around. There's no one that can like get your germs or anything. Just that's the best unless you have food in your mouth and you're eating and then all of a sudden you feel a sneeze coming on. There's a mini panic attack that happens. Can I swallow this before I sneeze? Am I gonna go everywhere? As you're like trying to figure out what to do, it's coming. There's no stifling this. This is just gonna happen. So you need to figure it out. Food is going to come out. It's There's too much projectile happening for it not and you go to the garbage can and you just sneeze up everything that's in your mouth. It's disgusting, but. It is what it is. When a stranger sneezes, that's the worst. You're in class, or you're in a bus, or you're in some public space where there's lots of ears that hear sneezes and one person sneezes and you're like, do I say it? Do I say bless you? Yeah, I'm gonna say it. That's the right thing to do. Who cares if it's kind of awkward? You, you wanna say it, but you don't really wanna be like, bless you, bless you over, yeah, you that sneeze, bless you. So you're like, I'm gonna be the mother Teresa today, bless you and they have their earbuds in and they don't hear you or they just don't acknowledge you and you're like, do bless yous have take backs? But you don't do it for them, you do it for you. Maybe you're in class, you hear someone sneeze and you're like, bless you. And you hear them go, thank you. You were looking for a bless you. You heard me whisper that to myself. You were radar on. That's me though, I'll be like, thank you. It's a nice thing to do and it's kind of, it's kind of nice. And maybe someone on that bus thinks that they're going to be in the commercial where they see you say bless you and then later they hold the door open for someone. Speaking of manners, holding the door open for someone. Do you do that? Do you hold the door open for someone? If you're the kind of girl that's like, mm, I am capable of holding my own door open. Shh, because you're ruining it for the rest of us. I love when someone holds the door open for me and I love holding the door open for people. Nobody turns around and goes, Mm, this girl can't open her own door. They're like, I'm gonna hold the door open so it doesn't slam in their face. I think that's pretty polite. You know when you're that person that you're walking and there's someone behind you and there's the awkward distance where you either have to hold it for a couple extra seconds waiting for them to do the walk run 
to get in there so it's less awkward or you have to like pretend like you never saw them but then sometimes you do have that door dance where you open the door for someone they walk through and then there's another set of doors and they open the door for you and you walk through this is a fun little dance that we're doing <laughs> the parade when you're in front of 20 people and you open the door for them and people go through and go through and go through and your family's already sat. You're still holding this door open. And you maybe do the pass off so you walk through and you hold the door open from behind and let them take it and then you get to go with. And then you also have the car, car door. Sometimes I'll like, well, Seth and I will be arm in arm and we're walking in the car and I'll just like squeeze him tighter and like walk him to the passenger side and, I'm, and I'll go, oh my gosh, are you opening the door for me? And I can't because I my automatic unlock doesn't work so I have, and there's no key lock on your side so i have to walk over to mine and unlock it and i can't open your door for you it's fine it's just just kidding it's fine so then he'll unlock his door and try and like come around and open mine for me and apparently i was told that if that happens like if a guy opens the door for you and you sit down the polite and next order of steps is for you to be to reach around and unlock their door and maybe even open it for them so it's like thank you for opening my door let me open your door for you make sure that um your person can unlock your door from your side though because otherwise it's not gonna happen for you <laughs> so what i want to know is are you a bless you person or are you a door holder person and I know that we're both supposed to do both, but like, what are you more like, oh, I have to do this every time. I'd like to hear, I think I'm more, I'd like to think that I'm more of a bless you every time person. I also would like you to share this video with somebody who has one of these sneezes, maybe the loud sneeze, the quiet sneeze, the multi sneeze, the cough sneeze. If you like this video, please like this video, please subscribe and share with your friend. Signing out from California, I'll share some of your videos and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Mwah, bye. My name's Brayden. Shanna does these videos every Wednesday. And he said, Hot day. Which I learned in other languages, like we say it, I've heard, so don't quote me on this, but I've heard that we say bless you because they believe when you sneeze, you sneeze out your spirit. And then you said bless you to put it back inside. <laughs>